Hi, Pat Hansen with Hard to Advantage Lighting here to talk with you about how to assess your tennis court lighting system and also about some of the improvements in technology that may make you consider whether or not you need to replace the system you have with more advanced fixtures. Uh, there have been some significant advances in lighting technology over the past few years, specifically to reflectors which throw the light out onto your court surface and also with the bulbs that they're using. And these uh, offer some advantages to tennis facilities and to tennis players. First of all, the obvious one is it throws more light onto your court and it makes the playing experience better. But the other thing that's happened is that you can now achieve greater light levels using lower wattage bulbs. And the advantage of this is it means that you're using less energy and your operating costs are significantly lower. So what we want to do here in this little video is talk to you about how to assess your existing lighting system and determine whether it might be right for renovation and replacement. The first thing I need to do to assess this lighting system is to measure the mounting height of the fixtures, the light fixtures themselves, see how high they are off the court surface. In order to do this I need a special tool to help me out. This is a laser distance meter and allows you to, uh, using a laser, to measure the distance of objects that are far away. So I'm going to take this and set it underneath my light fixture and figure out what height they're mounted at and record that data. And these fixtures are here are 20 feet 2 inches off the ground. The next step in the process is to take some light readings on your court surface. And we have mapped out specific locations on the court where we want to go ahead and take those readings. And you can see where they are as indicated by the yellow lines. We did not pick these spots at random. These spots were selected based on what is recommended by the USTA and the American Sports Builders Association because this area defines the primary playing area on the court surface, the area that you really need to know that you have adequate light on. You're going to need an instrument to take the light level readings and uh, what we have here is we have a light meter this one is from Xtech Instruments and it's very simple to use. Uh, it simply has this bulb that reads the light levels and then it has an electronic screen that actually gives you the reading in foot candles of how much light you're receiving. You always take these measurements three feet above the ground. That's also specified by USTA and the American Sports Builders Association. And once you take those readings you want to record the data so you'll need to have a court diagram sheet handy so you can record all that information. Now that you've gathered this data you really have all the information you need to get an assessment of the quality of your lighting. First thing you want to do is compare what you have, the results that you have, with what's recommended by the experts, the USTA and the ASBA. They recommend certain levels of light for different types of play recreational play, league play, college play, professional play, so on. You compare what you have with what's recommended and see if your facility really is where it needs to be. The other thing that having this data is going to help with is you can compare it with what you might get should you decide to upgrade, renovate, change your lighting system. Computers will print out computer generated drawings of light levels that will be a good comparison to what you currently have and help you understand whether it's worth the investment or not. If you have any questions about anything you've heard here tonight, please don't hesitate to contact us. That's what we're here for. We want to provide you with any help or assistance we can. You can uh, contact us at one the number 4, and then Hardtru, H-A-R-T-R-U, or you can contact us at support at hardtrue.com. Uh, we hope this video is helpful, help you understand lighting a little better, and help you assess whether what you have is what you need for your facility.